Yeah, welcome to my server. I'm Swedman, and uh, this is the spawn. I'm not looking very much, but we're soon gonna show you off the true locations of the server. Hi, Swedman. Hey, MG. Let me show you around. So yeah, did you know this is actually the oldest city on the server? It was created like two days after the server went up, or maybe just one day. Uh, it was created by a dwarf guy. Really, they really like to put things underground. Uh, so yeah, this is some old houses. Many things here are abandoned by now, but there's a few things that makes it still makes it worth to go to the vault. And this is probably the primary one. This is the largest store on the server. Uh, right now it's closed, but uh, if you want to buy things uh, in bulk, so you get it really cheap here. Well, here are some uh, houses, nothing interesting really. Uh, down here we have the fountain, which recently got renovated to make it feel more or less underground. We also have a public mine that's uh, not really very well used anymore. It's quite, uh, quite empty by now. And uh, we have a restaurant over here actually. It's closed right now, but uh, the Manly Pub, which is a Manly bar of manliness, is open here every now and then to get a well, the sheep drink and some sheep food. Um, another good thing about the vault is uh, the train station. Because geographically, the vault is located in the center of the map, which makes it so great to combine with uh, a huge train station. So from here you can get to any other major city on the server. You can go to Montagna, Black, Black Midgord without any real problems because you can just take a minecart, jump in a train and you'll be there in five minutes maximum. Uh, it really beats walking. And uh, be, since it's in the vault you're already in the middle so if, if you want to go from Montagna to Germania, it will take ages, but in the vault, you're already halfway there. One final thing that's worth pointing out is the arena. It's not uh, finished yet, but uh, it's, star it's starting to look really, really good. And um, we, we soon hope to have uh, our first ma match. So, this um, arena here was built by a guy called Bjornenfication. Uh, I haven't seen him for the last days or so, but I assume he'll be back soon. And he had a, of course, he had a lot of people who helped him. Uh, for example, the uh, dwarfs. They had uh, MG helping him build. The MG is like perfect for building huge cobblestone structures. Uh, so he did the dirty work, and Bjornification did the fine touch. If I understood it correctly, and uh, anyway. Uh, another interesting thing to show is this uh, city. It's actually closed right now, but uh, let's enter it anyway. Uh, this is the Dwarven City. Uh, back when the vault was uh, still new, this was actually called the New Vault. Uh, there was a huge city of the fishes here, but for unknown reasons they moved out to another location, to Montagna. But uh, this is where they used to live before it was made Dwarven. It doesn't look nearly the same, but in some places you can actually see the old architecture of them. Uh, it, most of it has been ruined by the dwarves, but there's a few places. So this place is still worth looking out, but you'll have to sneak about it because you're not allowed to do it. Hello, my name is Chucker and I'm one of the leaders of Germania. The Germanian Empire is derived from the mythology of the Germanian world. So uh, this is the city, Midgard, it's our capital city. Um, as you may or may not know, in the mythology there is three worlds, but we only use two of those, which is Midgard and Utgard. Midgard is the, is the, um, the area of the living of the normal human beings, and Utgard is the area for the dead souls. So, but we use Midgard as the actual city and Utgard as mines, aka Dwarf City. So, let's go inside. This is the main gate of Germania. We will now enter it. Gatekeeper. So, this is Germania. As you can see, we have placed lots of torches here for everyone's safety. 
This is a small church that we have, and over there we have a shop and the actual castle, which is Valhalla as we call it. Let's get closer to it. This store here as is run run by Sweatman, who is uh, also running the store at, over at the vault since he's a shop owner. Here we have the entrance to Utgard, the dwarf city or undercity. You can take a quick, quick, you can quickly take a look. Come on, let's continue the tour. Here we have one shop, which is for armor, as the helmets in wolf form should tell you. Here we have the barracks for the soldiers or city guards. Here we have the train station, which is, in my opinion, very well built. This train station leads to the vault, and also to a secret spot which only Germania leaders are able to were allowed to go to. This shop here is for weapons, as the sword may tell you. This is an unfinished house, as you <laughs> may see. Come on, let's get up into the tower. This is the Valhall Castle. We're just going to go up to the castle and watch the whole area from the top. You may wonder how big the wall is. Uh, the wall is at minimum 6 in width and 8 in height. Over there we have a huge territory and we have our magic tower there with a nether portal. We also have the patriotic chamber over there with a Swedish and a German flag. And we have a hotel complex down there. Beautiful buildings. Let's continue. Since this area is pretty much Germania leaders only, I would like to reduce the tour of the castle to what we just did. Let's continue with the city. Like you can see, Germania looks very beautiful while at night, since we have lots of torches and it adds a very nice effect to the environment. You may wonder why there is so much grass everywhere and not so many buildings. Well, we're still constructing the main city, and you are also free, you are also free to join us. We're offering starting material for everybody who wants to. Here is a small arena we have built for all kinds of mini games that we have made up. Oh, well, there you can see the uh, the casino that is still um, in construct, but will be done shortly. So this here is one of our citizens, Tulio, with his house. Hello, Tulio. Oh. Hello. Should we take a look inside? Sure thing. So, a very lovely place you have here. Yeah, but it's still not finished. Well, do not worry. We will support you with every building materials that you need to finish it. Thank you. This here is the old alligator's village. But now they have rebuilt their, well, base. Then I have a beautiful castle over there. But do not fear, the alligators are friendly people, just like the leaders and everybody else. This should be my show! Hmm. So, this is probably it for the, for the castle, for the Germania area, and I will just lead you off to Seren, who will now show you the village, or the castle of the, of the alligators. Welcome to the alligator place. Come in. Okay, so this is our new um, castle. Because somebody blew up a world one. I should not name that person. Anyway, um, we're alligators and obviously we like swampy areas, so it's covered in grass and leaves and trees and, and grass. And over here is the communal shed, which is new and very fancy. Um, up here is... Up here is um, the main house that I share with A. It is at the base of the watchtower. If you follow the ladder all the way up, you'll find the, the watch. And A's bed, my bedroom's up here. Um, 
Yeah, we have two levels to watch there. The first one is where the main first part to look at is on um, our channel. And the second part is just the very top. And um, if you follow this way, and um, this is the tree to our resident Pobo's house. Um, he's built this house out of a tree because he likes trees. Um, I like trees. Nice. I like turtles. <laughs> um, yeah, he he really likes trees. Anyway. And as I said, as alligators, we do like swampy areas, so follow me down here. Okay, there's a skeleton shooting on us, but anyway. Um, here's where we um, harvest our weed. <coughs> I mean, weed. Uh, once we harvest our weed, we uh, come over here to where the other skeleton shooting at me. Let me just chill out. And uh, this is the entrance to our um, castle. It's uh, pretty simple. As you can see, just uh, distance. So, this is one of our watchtowers that we constructed to take a look at the whole area. They are also used as a staircase up to the walls. So, as like I have mentioned before, the walls are 6 in width and 8 in height and at minimum. There sometimes are even more. We have a continuous design for the whole wall, but we also have special design for the water part, because we have to secure the levels under the water and also make it plausible so it actually makes sense the way it built. So it's not just floating on the water. So yeah, this building this took a couple of months, because we weren't active all the time. Um, also, we were in brave need of cobblestone, because we, as you can see, this thing well, was swallowing cobblestone, so to say. We, I believe we wasted more than 15 double chests of cobblestone onto this thing. And, like I said, it took lots of time to build it. It was partly me who built it, was partly of the other leaders of Germania, and was partly our dwarf, dwarf slave, who was helping to build it. I'm not a slave! Um, like I said, friendly people. So, uh, you will, you will, you will spot the magic tower and the hotel complex from here. And as you can see on both sides, you are unable to get onto the wall from just jumping. So, uh, it's basically secure. It's uh, player secure and it's also mob secure. It's all it's player secure if if you follow our rules. So, this is our wall. We have tried out several. Uh, designs for towers, but we really haven't found the best one yet, so we're still thinking. As you can see, this is one of the other designs that we made up, but we didn't really like it that much, so we were thinking about rebuilding this one. So, over there we have the most classical of our design, design towers, which is um, a basic medieval tower, I believe. It is built on a cliff, and you have a wonderful sight from this cliff, because it, it's uh, really high. As you can see from here. This is all self-made. We didn't do this with a world editor or anything else. We were building every block by itself. We also had to eventually chop down forests. So, UNICEF is hating us for it. But, um, we eventually had a lot of wood right that. So, it wasn't just a failure, you know. Um, you may recognize our patriotic chamber, the castle, Valhall, and the train station and some buildings from here. Hey. Also the church. Like I said, you have a wonderful sight on the area from here, which you might want to see for a second. So yes, this is it for the tour of Germania. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a nice day. Thank you for watching this uh, short introduction to my server. Uh, if you want to join, you should check out the links that you can find in the video description which contains uh, the rules and how you get in contact to get invited on the server.